home stretch really, you know, feeling good, but still finding that fine line, you know, just feeling good and being able to still push yourself and get tired every day. But it's funny because when you get, you know, this close to a fight, it's hard to get tired. I would say it's in my blood or I thought it was in my blood because my aunt actually lied to me and told me that um, Van Damme was my uncle <laughs> when I was a kid. You know what's the best thing to do is when you're tired, pretend you're not tired is one. And the second thing, if you're really tired, do something and then you're not tired anymore. You know what I mean? So it's like tricks your mind. So if you look at the level of engagement that we've had with Joe, that's that was a long-term process that started with some very minimal level engagement that got expounded upon as he saw some, some success, but also learned how to utilize these services and fit it into his little microcosm of, of fight camp and fight preparation. Dan's not here. Fuck him. Fuck him, Dan. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck him up. What are we doing the third? I think I, I help these guys uh, in finding that ability to remain focused and stay consistent. And again, it's different for each fighter. Each fighter has their own motivations. Uh, and that's the key to coaching is, is in individually recognizing that within each fighter. As you can see today, I've talked to every single person that sees me today goes, what'd you think of the Oscars? What'd you think of the Oscars? Yeah, if I had to tell my younger self, if I have to tell young Joe, I would just tell him to just be prepared for the ups and downs, you know, and it's not always easy, you know, and most of the times it's a blessing and it's not always easy and you're going to feel like discouraged and sometimes things are going to work out and it's the best time ever, you know, a win or whatever works out. If you've made it this far, you made it this far, you're motivated, you're competitive, you want to be a champion. Every single person that trains mixed martial arts wants to be the UFC champion, right? But it's funny because at the same time, it's like, this is my third time. Um, I've had times when I thought the only thing that was gonna define me and give me self-worth and make me feel like I was enough was having a UFC title. You know what I mean? And you know what? I didn't get it. But there were still people that like love me whether I won, whether I lost, and that will continue to forever.